We're gonna have a mermaid with a trident. It's gonna be busting through with all her sea creatures. The shark gobbles it up and becomes land shark. Amazing. Lego Masters reached out to me and asked if I would participate in the show. And I think my official title was consulting producer, but I really was the artist in residence. I built a lot of the set dressing, a lot of props, things we needed for challenges, things the contestants used for inspiration, things like that. It was a lot of last minute building requests for the show. And uh, it was a lot of fun for me because I got to just experiment and kind of work in a different way than I normally do. Sometimes I was building things that would be a sort of an inspiration for the contestants in that they, would, they wouldn't be exactly a sample, but something that would hopefully lead them to a different, you know, working idea. Uh, sometimes the projects were building, say, a base that they would build off of. So it just depends on what was needed for that episode. It's going to be exciting to watch people under pressure oh, no! to see whether they can create something that's going to have a real wow factor. Whoa! This bicycle will actually make an appearance on the show. As you can see, it's half actual bike, half Lego bike, which has kind of inspired one of the challenges that the contestants will take on. Sometimes I'd have a week or two advance notice where I could really deep dive into the project. And that's usually what I'd like for a project, you know, a large scale project out of Lego. But sometimes it was overnight. It was, I'd get the call in the evening and they'd need it the next morning. And so those were more of a, a different pace of building for me. But it also was, you know, I got to flex different muscles because usually I'm working at my own pace. This time I would be rushing through stuff, you know, as fast as possible. This is our build room. This is where our Lego builders build. I keep 10 million bricks in my inventory at any given time because when I'm working on something, I don't want to have to think, oh, do I have enough red pieces? Do I have enough gray pieces? I just want to be able to grab the bricks and keep going. So I keep a huge inventory, which was very beneficial for the show because when you have those quick turnarounds, I can't think about, do I have enough of this? Do I have enough of that? I just have to build. The winner of this competition will go home with the official title of Lego Masters, $100,000 and a fancy Lego trophy. Which reminds me, we're gonna need somebody to build a fancy Lego trophy. I built the trophy, uh, it's about, I, th I wanna say like two feet tall, foot and a half, 15 inches wide. It's got some uh, unique elements to it, but it, it's, it's, it's a trophy, you know, it's a trophy. We wanted to, uh, reward the winners. I'm gonna break this thing into a million pieces. We don't care. We don't care. Now we're making reality television. The way they smash them is very, yeah. it's kind of satisfying as like a viewer. It's a very different <laughs> aspect, right? Because Lego builders, you know, as fans, we're, we're trying to create something and be really proud of it when it's done and look what I made. And that particular episode, there's a, there's, some, you know, takes it a different direction and there's some smashing of things, which is something that I don't think a lot of people expect to be done with Lego. You're not gonna hit this, are you? Can we take that again? No? Okay, well, it's all good. <laughs>